Rain showers are likely today, especially southeast of the Toledo Metro and southeast of the Balmy River, where the remnants of Hurricane Nicole moving on through. You can see a few spotty rain showers in Lucas and Wood counties, but primarily most of the action is far to the southeast, impacting areas like Seneca County, Erie and Huron counties, and Wyandotte and Crawford also seeing some rain showers northwest of Toledo. A little bit more of a quiet start to the day, just gloomy in Hillsdale and Lenaway counties towards Fulton and Williams as well. No rain showers north and west. Zooming in on a few of the steadier, more soaking showers, looking towards Upper Sandusky. That yellow color shows you where the rain's coming down pretty good. And also a bit further to the north, right along the lake shore, there is an area of steady rain up near Port Clinton and Sandusky, stretching down to Fremont into portions of eastern Seneca County, where the rain's coming down a little more steadily. As far as the Toledo Metro goes this afternoon, much of Lucas County has been dry, and it will stay that way other than a spotty sprinkle. South of the Maumee River, there are some showers stretching from Bowling Green over towards Grand Rapids and looking further to the east of Toledo. That is where the steadier shower action is from Oak Harbor back towards Fremont and Tiffin. Road conditions could still be a little wet and slow going at times. Here's just one example looking out at 475 at Airport Highway. Generally traffic moving smoothly this afternoon, but keep in mind wet roadways will be a little slower than usual. Also, because of the gloomy, cloudy skies, make sure those headlights are turned on to make yourself extra visible on the roadways. The remnants of Nicole are moving up into the Midwest. You can see that rotation around this system pulling in moisture from the Gulf and the Atlantic Ocean, and that is responsible for a good portion of rain for the eastern United States. Here is the latest on Nicole. Still has 30 mile an hour wind speeds. No longer a hurricane, no longer a tropical storm, just a low pressure system centered near Atlanta. It's going to move into the Ohio River Valley heading up towards Charleston and again, producing a lot of moisture and a lot of rainfall for the eastern United States. As far as us here, we're going to see some changes not only in the rainfall, but also in the temperatures. As temps begin to drop this afternoon, we are still at 61 in Toledo along the lake shore in the mid 50s, 59 in Tiffin, 59 in Upper Sandusky, 59 degrees in Ottawa. It's going to start to cool down late afternoon as a cold front moves on through. And here is that front to the north and west of us. There are a few spotty rain showers right along that cold front. Nothing nearly as steady as we saw with those tropical remnants. Now to give you an idea of this cold air behind the front. Look at all these winter weather alerts from the upper peninsula of Michigan towards the Canadian United States state border. Here's a look at the hour by our forecast on and off showers persist throughout the afternoon, mainly to the southeast of the Toledo Metro, seeing those showers in Erie and Huron counties, Wyandotte and Crawford, but primarily Cleveland on east where the rain's going to be a little bit steadier. Let's set the clock into motion by tonight. Still looking at a thick blanket of cloud cover along the I-75 corridor and an overcast evening east of Toledo, but I think to the west of the Metro, we're going to start to see some clearing tonight as the clouds filter on out. By the time you wake up Saturday, it's going to be a lot more chilly outside. A couple of rain and snow showers will be possible with a cooler breeze setting up shop. On and off snow flurries will be possible. That blue color, we haven't seen that in a while. Some spotty snow showers will be possible on Saturday with a cooler feeling weekend on deck. High temperature only making it up to 43 degrees Saturday. It is going to feel cooler than the thermometer suggests due to the wind. A couple on and off snow flurries will be possible. Not expecting any accumulation, but still a little brush with winter and heading towards Sunday. A little more sunshine to look forward to still on the cooler side with a high of 40 degrees. You can stay tuned to WTOL 11 for that latest 10 day forecast and an update on the weekend. Again, if you want a dry day with sunshine, Sunday is going to be your pick day. Sunny weather continues Monday with our next weather disturbance arriving Tuesday into Wednesday, and both of those days could bring us a little bit of a light wintry mix with some rain and snow showers. A much cooler trend in that 10 day forecast with high temperatures barely hitting 40 degrees, and a lot of those days will be in the upper 30s towards the end of the 10 day forecast.